So let's take a quick look at the RFID system on board. I have here on the right, I've got my five blue key cards, the ones which allow access to the solenoid lock to pop open. I've got a red and a yellow. The red one says remove card and the yellow one says add card. So say I wanted to gain access to the door. Say I wanted to pop open the solenoid lock through the smart Wi-Fi doorbell. The click at the end is the relay sending out a signal to the solenoid lock. Now, in this video, I don't have a solenoid lock actually wired to the device, but that's how it works. Now, let's say I wanted to remove this card. I'll take my red remove or delete card. I would swipe once. It's waiting because there's the red light on over there. Swipe that one once and now swipe the red one once again. And now when I swipe this, the relay shouldn't trigger and I should get an error instead with flashing red lights. And there you have it. That's how the RFID system works. Five access cards, therefore five different individuals can use the RFID card to gain access to the door, providing a solenoid lock has been installed. Okay, so here's an example of a notification on a Samsung S7 smartphone. I'm gonna hit the call button here and the Samsung, which is connected right now via Wi-Fi to my network, is going to receive the call. It's very quick. It took about two seconds. I've got already a picture on screen, so I'd know who's at the door and I can answer. First thing I'll do is switch off the mic and switch off the speaker and let I avoid echoes. And there you have it, a live connection between the smart Wi-Fi doorbell and my Samsung Galaxy S7.